It's really cute. It's a My Neighbor Totoro one. Perfect. And it's like it's the tunnel with the little Totoros going down behind you. It's really that cute. That is so cute. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be great to the Totoro world, yeah. And yeah, exactly. That's where I'm going. That's what I'm arguing. I love that Alex is a ghost here. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't exist. Okay. All right. So let's just recap. I'm on... here. Alex. Okay. Yes. Yep. We're gonna start now. Everything. Yep. Okay. So when we last saw our intrepid heroes. They had managed to dis to um, go to the Mirror Mages Hall, uh, avoid offending almost everything except for the spider that thought it was the mage, who they smashed to death with their clubs and maces and swords. Um, and it completely failed to hit anyone, which was a sad moment for everyone, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, you find yourselves uh, tr ha having exited the Mirror Mage and being summoned... Um, to the Eternal Progress, um, which is the location of the giant turtle. Um, you do have two friendly fire pig slash invisible pig slash whatever pigs, um, mm -hmm. as you may recall, uh, who are prone to disappear and reappear and poop out fire. Um, yep. At, yep. at frequent, what they at do. frequent things. It keeps on giving. It keeps on giving. <laughs> Um, as you exit the Mirror Mage's Hall, um, standing just outside with a mighty backpack on its back, um, is a tall human wielding a kniffin. Alex, would you like to have a go at describing what you think your character looks like? Um, I have no idea. I can't find the character sheet. Struggling right now. I'm just looking. I can hardly see Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't exist. So Alex, if you go yeah. under characters in the third tab across the top, so there's no, a little. No, the second tab across. Uh, As the... a player, it's it the, second the second tab. tab. Oh, you don't see the out library. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, yep. There's a little newspaper-like icon. It's got a little thing in the corner. There's yeah. a folder called characters, uh, and you're not assigned to it. That's why you can't see it because you didn't, you weren't in the game. I just have caravan. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna add you in. That's uh, useful. I do like the caravan. And yeah, you'll now be able to do it in one second. There you go. There's oh. your character sheet. Yeah, I have a character. I won't now. be drawing this session. I forgot my art pad. That's okay. I'll remember things. What I'll write you? notes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Alex, um, did you want to... There's no description. Did you just want to throw yourself out there, buddy? What do you look like? Um, I have blonde hair. Cool. Um, blue eyes. Okay. You are... I don't want to... <laughs> blonde hair, blue eyed. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> That's good. No, that's fine. All right, and you're you've got a mighty and you've got a large backpack on your back full of trade goods, and you're lugging around a whole stack of stuff. Yes. Because you are, are you? a you are a peddler. Yes. Mm. Mm. So there's this there's this peddler <laughs> standing outside. Mm. Um, hello. I I are you here for the wizard? Because I don't think he's here. Yeah, he's out. Sorry. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. I was kind of looking for him. Oh. All right. Well, I think we're looking for him too. Although, I mean, he might be dead. Ow. I don't know. Oh, so why? He, that's not the best news. Theory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. There was a spider pretending to be him. That was kind of freaky. Sounds like it. Maybe he was a spider the entire time. Have we considered that? Yeah, we're not. We're not sure if the spider ate him, and was then pretending to be him, or something else happened. Maybe he um. turned into a spider. Well, uh, something find out later. Down here. <laughs> mm. What were you looking mm. for him for? What do you need? Um. You were here to 
find a magical cure to your hidden curse that you're not going to share with the party. Yes, I cannot tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool, but um, we're actually going to go and try and find the wizard if he is still alive, because we really need some serious magical help. So, if you know these lands, it would be really helpful to have someone along who knows what's going on, because we're really new here. Really, really new. Really like new. Super new. We don't yeah, know no anything. It's great to have somebody who knows how things work here to help us. What do you think? Ah, uh, sure. I'll join along. Sounds like you really do need the help. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Mm. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? I was like, what? Why do you need the wizard? You're doing quite well under the circumstances, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> none of us are dead yet. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we are doing quite well in that no one is dead yet. Yeah, it's good yeah. to have. You don't really come from here. We come from somewhere else. We don't normally look like this. We don't know how we got here. We want to go home, and the wizard we're hoping will help us go home. Unfortunately, that he seems like you really need to see the wizard. Spider. Yeah, a lot, a lot. We I used to be, be taller. I used to be shorter. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't um, used to be green. Well, that's kind of a you problem. <laughs> so like, I'll just kind of help you find the wizard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be really good. What's your name? My name is... Whatever you want it to be, Alex. Um... Pressure's on. <laughs> I am the secret peddler. Come on. I'm a peddler. Shadow peddler. I wish I did not tell you my name. Oh. Okay, well, is there something we could, like, a title we could call you if we want to talk to you? Um, you, c you, shall, you can call me person or thing. Well, I don't really like calling people things. So I'll just call you mate. How about sure. mate? Mate. That can be my name <laughs> for now. <laughs> you can call me n mate. Okay. Yeah, right, hey, mate. because person comes with a whole stack of connotations for some members of the party. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd feel a bit of unbridled rage if I have to call you person, so... Um, I think that's a you person problem? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So quickly making your, uh, uh, making your peace with each other and realising that the peddler might be able to guide you into the wilderness safely um, you march off in the direction that you were given, the guidance that you were given towards the eternal progress, the giant with eye. With your magic that, rings. With your magic rings, that's right, your four magic rings. Yeah. Mm. So we're being like, does it feel like, like we're really being tugged along, like we can't stop and sleep, or is it just like we are aware of the direction? No, you're aware of the pool, but you, no, you can, you can sleep and do other things. Yeah, it's not yeah. like it's okay. a physical, but it's like you've got a sense of, of it, and if you focus on it, you can feel a pull in the direction. Yeah. All right. So, if we remember how how travelling across the wilderness lands works, do we remember? I do. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring up my tablet. Damn. Okay, yep. All right. You need to travel many, many, many leagues. I'm going to use leagues because it sounds old worldy. Um, mm -hmm. And there are many leagues between you and the to, to where the rings are. So, mm -hmm. one of you must be chosen to lead the way... And one of you might want to keep watch. <laughs> I think I was doing the keeping watch one before. What was that? Okay, so lead the way is survival and keeping watch is... Uh, da, 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 so da, I was leading the way last time. Scouting, yes, it's scouting. Yep. Yep. So, so yep. if okay. you have a look at your... If you have a look at your total survival skill... Alex, I think you might have six dice. Is that right? That sounds right for you. Or do you have no survival? 
Do you know how to find your skills on your character sheet, Alex? Is it just under the skills and it's survival? Yeah, that's it. I have no I have no dice. You have three dice. You are unskilled in the ways I of the world. Unskilled. So I actually, you don't want to tell anyone this, but you're actually rubbish at knowing anything about the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. I wish to not tell anyone. Nice, nice. All right, so uh, it's back to you, Radis, to lead the party, and uh, right. and it's uh, and I believe yes, your scout skill was the best of the scouteries. Is that correct, Jess? Was it scouting or survival? Survival. Ah, uh, no, it's survival yeah, it's to lead the way, and it's scouting to um, keep watch. Keep watch. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you head off into the wilderness. Oh, two successes. Absolutely. Now, remember, yeah. because it's open plains, um, you can travel two hexagons a quarter. So you travel through the first hexagon. Um, and because Matt, you have made those two successes, uh, you, receive no modif you receive no negatives. And then I'm just going to roll... Uh, I want to see our fox friend again. 31. I miss uh, fox. And, and in the first, first hexagon, you encounter nothing. Exciting. Mm. All right. Always good. It is. It is always good. As you travel across the open plains and into the misty darkness where the clouds lay thick upon the ground, you enter the second hexagon. Rob, roll... Roll a uh, survival skill again, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, come on, you just shifted up the cover of the thing. Uh, I might have to push that. <laughs> are you going to I push that? I the blue thing, don't I? You do. And look how quickly you... And you have taken one stat point of damage. You gain one willpower point. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh no, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I had the people mixed up. Right, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've got it now. So, actually, you push and take no will damage, and you're keeping an eye out, and you've rolled one success, and that's 24. Yep. The second hexagon is travelled through uninterrupted, nothing disturbs you. So far, the first Ooh. quarter day has gone well. Do you wish to push on into yeah. the second quarter of the day? Yeah, da, da, I think da, so. Da, 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 I believe. Yeah. Have we got a okay. map that we... Uh, yeah. I... Oh, sorry, you're probably not on it at the moment. Whoops. Sorry. No. Sorry. We're in our old map. There you go. Yeah, Try that. Tower. Ooh. Mm. Map. Ooh you, I, you've I made it to there. here. Mm. And you're about to cross... Mm. This hexagon. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. You travel on. Rob, another encounter. Another another lead the way mm. roll. You're on fire, Rob. You're on fire. Hopefully not literally. Whoa. No. Well, um, that's good. Yeah. And again, please. Uh, yeah. Jess. Here we go. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Yes. Oh, doing good um, today. So doing far, good. nothing <laughs> has happened. You get to the, you get to the, to the fourth, um, to the fourth hexagon. Roll, Rob. This time, roll well. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Two okay. successes. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Mishaps. It's oh, actually, you know what? This peddler, oh, uh -oh. this pe this peddler is clearly working for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You cross. You cross the hexagon. It. No, you don't need to. You don't. You oh, don't. don't need, it? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, well, it, well it's, it's it's okay. All right, you make it across <laughs> the fourth hexagon. You have travelled a half a day. Um, now, you can travel on because, as you can see, you're only a quarter of a day away from where the eternal, where the creature is that you're meant to be travelling to meet. Or you can set up camp and rest and forage. Well, but if you push on, you may there? you may make it. Is there any penalty to pushing on? I think we'll just have to. Um, the only penalty is you wouldn't you wouldn't rest. 
but it is now autumn, which means you'll be travelling into the darkness, um, mm. which gives you a mm. minus two penalty um, for the for the. Um, Oh no, but hold on, you're a goblin, aren't you? Rob? I can see in the dark at least. You can see in the dark, so that's cool. But keeping watch will be harder because it will be dark. Yeah, let's just camp and get to know our friend. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, so you park yourselves here for the night and I'm also waiting. I'm I'm eagerly waiting and seeing if I see any foxes around. Sure. <laughs> We haven't had any encounters. There's been no I just want to see my fox. I just want to see your foxy friend. Okay. Oh my god, is that fox cat over there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so making camp um, requires a quarter day. Um, only one person can make camp, but others can help, um, irrespective of whether you've got the skill or not. And it's mm. a survival role. Alright. I remember last time I set up camp with a couple and of And I'll help. Okay. Right. So that adds one dice if one person helps. Yeah. Is anyone... I'll assume Brand, we'll put Brandon on point for helping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that two adds dice. two dice. And then are the rest of you going to forage? Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. All right. So first of all, let's roll that camp. Setting up camp, you're getting a bonus of two dice. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to have to push that. Oh my god. Oh, wow. oh my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I set At up first. a small waterfall nearby so we can have fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> I will give a bonus of one dice um, to people's forage rolls. Nice. Okay, so you can forage for water or food, um, as I think you would recall. Um, yeah. uh, it requires a survival check. Um, you can also hunt if you have a bow or traps, and you can go fishing if you have fishing rods. Yeah. Well, I've got a bow. Okay, we don't have fishing rods. Uh, I cannot hunt, but someone else might be able to hunt. I do have a bow. I'm just looking for food. Okay, so is anyone looking for water? Um, I'll look for water. Okay. So, all right, so Alex, to find water, you must make a forage roll. You're getting a bonus of two dice. One for the fact that it's autumn and one for the fact that Rob has set you up right next to a waterfall. <laughs> um, so, Can I make a forage roll? Okay, so you go to your skill. Yes. And you see how you can, if you run your mouse over it, see how there's a big red, how survival goes red? Yes. Click on survival. Okay. And then, um, now what will then happen is your dice pool um, should have lit up. So the dice pool is the next block along and it's got yep. the white column, the red column and the black column. Yep. You'll see that it's got a weird little dotted line, dotted s square around the three on your base yep. skill. Okay. So I think I can't remember how I know how it works when you're doing API. Just um, add two dice to skill. So click on the two in skill. Yep, and then hit roll with API, and that'll roll your thing, and it'll tell you how many successes you got. Nice, one success. Nice. Okay, so you are able to find. Um, yeah, you find enough drink of water for everyone to fill their water skins up. They can all go up to a D12. So if anyone is not currently at D12, which I think includes Alex, actually. I know Alex is, isn't. Oh, wow. nice. So on water, Alex, if you scroll down your character sheet a bit, yep, you'll see... It. Yep, now see the drop down? You can go from D8 to D12 next to water. Yay. Woo Yay. Water. Water. So... So the peddler goes off and finds water by walking out of their tent, which they have. They have a tent, by the way. <laughs> they have a yeah, tent, I have a tent. God. and a sleeping mat, and like they've got everything. Oh, wow, they're living it. Aren't <laughs> yeah, they? I'm well equipped. Yes. Wow. They're lugging it all on their back. They've even got a cauldron for cooking. Mm, luxury. Cooked luxury. Food? Cooked food. <laughs> exactly. 
Um, okay, so they go and do that. Now, uh, Jason, uh, same from you. Uh, plus two dice. Um, awesome. Forage. Yep. Let's and each this. success will find you one unit of food. One success! Yay! You find Yay. one unit of food, which you can eat and therefore not consume. <laughs> and therefore not cons have to roll on your food roll. Um, nice. I was also going to hunt. Cause I've yes. Got yes, you are. So roll a d6 for me. Just a uh, d6? I, actually, I'll roll the d6. Sorry, I'll roll a d6 to see what you get. Uh, okay. All right, Maddie, you go around. A, mm. you, you you're creeping through the woods. Yeah. Ahead of you, you hear rustling. Oh my god! No. You step into the clearing, and there's a fox there, right? Matt, there's a fox. There's a fox. There's a fox. It's looking at you. You look at it. Tell what do you do? I look at the fox. It's, so it's looking at me, right? Yeah. <laughs> there was no you. singing, by the way. I'll kill you if you kill me. There was no singing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna like slowly pull out my bow to not frighten the fox, and slowly point an arrow at it, and slowly draw the bow. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot it or not? Well, yeah. I'm just I'm okay. The fox. Okay, <laughs> roll, roll, roll with minus one. Apply minus one to your to hit chance. So take one dice off your when you roll. Reduce. You couldn't take the fox anyway. It tore a bear's head off with its bare paws. Is this that fox, Natty? Oh, you don't believe in that fox. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I okay, miss. you miss. Do you want to push that roll, Natty? Or do you let oh, the fox? The of or, or do you? Going, oh my god, the fox! You killed it. As you hold it up. <laughs> yeah, I'll push it. Up. I'll push it. Actually, hold on. Sorry, we got. Oh wow. Successes. Oh wow. Yep. Okay. You shoot the fox. <laughs> it lies on its side, <laughs> dead, Natty. You've killed the fox. Nice. What did the fox um, say? Mm. Yeah, you can't I mean, eat a I'll fox though, and... it's a carnivore. I'll walk over and pick up the fox. I've got to, you know, <laughs> grab the dead fox, eat it, cook it, whatever. You can't eat foxes. You can't. You can't eat a carnivore. Oh. I don't know that. That's I'm like not. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just don't know you that. You should know right? that. You're a country kid. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have a so special. you come back, you come back with the fox. Yep. Yep. <laughs> is I lose. can't believe it! Why would you kill the fox? <laughs> it's got three food, by the way. It's worth three food. Three food. Yeah. Oh my god. You could roast that fox. <laughs> How would you do, why would you do this? You don't have to eat the fox, Delilah. No one's gonna force you to. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? He was so it nice. It wasn't your fox. Maybe it's just a fox. I mean, your fox was a while back there. Maybe it, this 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 a, might be a completely different fox. Can you say your fox took down a bear? It did. Because if your if your fox took down a bear, I don't think I'd better kill it with one arrow. All right, you can calm down. It's, right, it's probably fox. just a close relative. It's not your dream fox. <laughs> Okay, you find the fox to be yummy. <laughs> Who eats the fox? <laughs> no. Who's eating the fox? There's only I three am. units of food, so it can only work for three people anyway. I'm eating the fox. I'm not going to. By the way, there, I'll, is, a, I'll... there is a pelt. I want the pelt, the pelt, though. No, I hunted the fox, I get the pelt. <laughs> 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 Do you, have do you have survival skill, Natty? Not really. <laughs> right, okay. You got this. I can help you. You got this pelt. You're not sure what to do with I've it. Okay, so who is. So hold on. So um, neither Lauren or Delilah are eating the fox. Although, wait, have I spent my experience? Did I, ever, did I spend my experience last? I don't know. I, you, I did, you... yes. I did. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I've got four survival. 
Right, but you don't actually have survival skill, do you? No, I do. I've got one point in it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, roll survival to treat the pelt. Or at least I have a clue about how to treat the pelt. Yep. I'll nope. push it. <laughs> no, you won't. Nah. It's got something oh. new, Tannen. Wait, I missed. Oh, anyway. <laughs> nah. Alright, I didn't push it. <laughs> I'm going to be tougher on pushing. Um, and as you're all aware now, if you burn a stat... Um, well, actually, you're about to rest, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're all yeah. setting up camp. When suddenly... Probably from... Just over the rise, so you can imagine you're all sort of setting up camp in this beautiful little dell, you know, that you found. It's nestled in between two small hills. There's a little waterfall yeah. falling down the side of the hill, and you know, falling in, and you've got your and one of you's got a tent. <laughs> Set it up. <laughs> Wait, no one else has a tent. No one no. else has a tent. We're not from here. No. Yeah. I was no. expecting to be sleeping in my comfortable, warm bed in my nice house. Oh, well, you never maybe that. not actually. Maybe maybe I would be fighting robots, but you know I wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you just seen my home? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Home sucks. <laughs> well, I mean, but, sure, but still. <laughs> but still, exactly. What the hell? I I would say what the hell. Um, so you're all nestled in and. You're getting ready to go to sleep when you hear, when you see a figure, actually, sorry, you see a figure stumbling over the rise, covered in blood and, and, and badly wounded with bits of body parts sticking out of their body. They collapse onto the top of the hill and go, help us, and fall to the side as they do so. What do you do? So it's like a person up there? Yeah, it's like a person. Could be a person. I don't know. It's, you, I think you said there was bits of body parts sticking out of them. That was yeah, there, there was bits of body parts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Wait, like not attached to their body? Or like... No, like attached oh. to their body. Well, like loosely coupled. <laughs> <laughs> so it was at their own body parts that were just kind of like hanging on by a thread or someone else's body parts yeah. stuck into them. It, it, it looked more like the first than the second. Okay, okay, okay. Help right. us! And they fall to the ground. Originally, my image was like eight arms. I know. Person, and no, I, was I was like, like yeah, I was so Isn't that the weirdest thing have. you've seen so far? <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So, what well, are you going to do? I'm going to go and render some assistance. And... So, you run up to the top of the hill. Does anyone else run up to the top of the hill with me? I don't know runs up with me. At least someone run up with me. I guess I'll go. All right, the peddler. And the um, goblin run up with Lauren. What do the rest of you do? Do the rest of you go up the hill as well, or what do you do? No, I'm staying at camp. I'm okay. keeping an eye on our stuff. Yeah. Keeping an eye on our stuff, good plan. Okay. You, you reach the top of the hill. Just on the other side of the hill, you see more, more of injured people. The person who you've come up to reaches out to you with their hand and then s slowly stands up. And then falls backwards and tumbles down the hill sideways, rolling on, rolling like a log down the side of the hill in amongst the other bodies. Uh, oh we're doing that part. Okay, okay, can I get, can I get, can I get <laughs> scouting rolls? Can I, who, yeah, actually, no, it's individual scouting rolls. Yeah, can I get yeah. individual scouting rolls, please? So can everyone I'm really... rolling... Roll their scouting. Reeling, wishing that I had some serious <laughs> drugs. I think I'm starting to feel some withdrawal because no drugs left. <laughs> oh, only the people yeah. who are up the top of the hill. Yeah, right. that's me. <laughs> what about you, Alex? Oh, way, I'm rolling. Way, oh. Tom, I've taken six cents as one of my um. Updates. Oh, what does what does that do? Gives you a plus one um when an enemy tries to ambush you. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, you know, no good reason. Good to know. Good All to right. know. Good to know. Yeah. Good to All know. Right. I'm gonna put you wanna you wanna add that to your recon roll? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, wow. All right. Oof. Ouch. Wow. Okay, hold on. Uh so you pushed it, didn't, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And there is wit. You took I'm one point little... one point of damage to wits, yep. But you did get three successes. Alex, you got one and success. 
Who wants I got a death? willpower point. Yay! Yay! And uh, oh, I'm not gonna push it. You're not gonna push it. Okay. So, Jess, there's something yeah. not quite right about these bodies. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. That's just not right. He and looked. I'm he starting looked, to feel really looked, shaky about it all. He looked. He looked. He just looked too. Well, let's be upfront. They're not the world's greatest actors. <laughs> <laughs> And you notice, <laughs> and you notice with your clear-eyed vision, that whilst they're in amongst the bodies, some of the bodies seem to have weapons next to their hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want to fight a bunch of, I don't want to fight an undead army. They're not undead. Not dead. I, not dead. <laughs> I, think, I think these people are like from those horror movies, you know, where they're like. Zombies and shit. You have met zombies, don't forget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. there were the zombie. There were the zombie. There were the uh the zombie circus people. Yeah. I think it's like those other people we saw on the road who were like dead but walking around and stuff. <sighs> so you're standing at the top of the hill having this conversation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should move back down the, to the bottom of the hill to our tent and our stuff. We need fire. I have. I'm gonna go back to the campfire. Yeah. Right. So, fire. so, so, <laughs> just to be completely clear, do any of you move down the hill towards the dead bodies? No. 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 And and actually, what you do is you all talk amongst yourselves, and then you just disappear yeah, over the hill again. Away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh. There's silence for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're waiting for us to come down and check it out. And do you just, what are you guys doing? <laughs> well, um, I'm going to, to, hey, mate. Mate. Yeah? They're dead, aren't they? They're undead, aren't they? Those horrible people that look all yeah. hacked to pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think fire... Is fire what you usually use to deal with that? Well, they seem to be like Frankenstein, so I guess. Do you have anything in all your... Because you have a lot of gear there. Like, maybe... A large you know, barrel of oil. Oil, <laughs> oil that we could use to I like, don't think I have a with? large barrel of oil. <laughs> <Hoping>. <laughs> Um, do you want to do you want to roll um, uh, a d sixty six for me, Alex? So, what you do on your character sheet? Yeah. Um. Uh. Under, I think it's under the under or above. Under the dice pool. Under the dice pool thing, there's yeah. there's literally next right across from roll with API, there's d sixty six. Twenty six. Um, okay. Hi, Brandon. Hey, Brandon! Hey, hey, is someone rolling a 66? Someone get injured? No. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, we are st we are at the bottom of a hill, uh, and, uh, we think there's a zombie horde that's trying to lure us over the hill by, like, pretending to be injured people, and we're all pretty sure they're actually a zombie horde. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've literally walked to the top of the hill and gone, ah, and walked away. Okay, <laughs> yeah. That's it. So we're trying did to find I out. successfully roll the d66? You did. Oh, it hasn't shown up on my screen. Oh, wait, never mind, it did. <laughs> yep. And, uh, just give me literally one second to fix something up, because... The addition of an extra person has just, yeah, that's perfect. I hear that if you wear a fox skin on your head, you can wade straight through them. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you, you don't... <laughs> you... You, you hold on, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
Okay, you have you do have a you do have a trait. You do have another tent that you're looking to offload. Um and you can roll twice more. Roll roll twice more for me, will you? Okay. Um Right. I no. <laughs> no, roll again. You're not you're not <laughs> I am actually. I am actually <laughs> A tent peddler. A tent peddler. <laughs> you have a you have a flute okay, that you're more. also looking to uh, offload. I already have one of those. Sure, but you know, someone might want One more time. Yeah, one more time. No. Wow, you you love that. <laughs> <laughs> Ten one more time. One more time. There we go. A different number. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Oh, actually, hold on. No, no, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then fall down. Uh... Okay, on. Um... Okay, you actually have lamp oil. <gasps> I have some oil that can be <laughs> and... lit on fire if you wish to have that. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, we'll just. We'll just... Just pour it over the Now, body. while you're having this conversation, no one was keeping watch on the hill, correct? <laughs> oh, God. No, we were distracted. We were right, a yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that's, that's what I recall. No, okay. <laughs> so, so, oh, by the way, Brandon, just to catch you up, you met a, a traveling peddler whose name is Mate because their name is a secret that only they know and they, they don't share it with anyone. Um, oh, okay. And you successfully traversed a whole stack of terrain with no injury or encounter. Like, no quicksand, no... No problem. We just walked. Yeah. Yep, yep. We just walked. And now you've camped, and Rob rolled four successes on setting up the camp, so you're next to a beautiful bubbling brook, you know, with a little little uh, little waterfall falling down the side of the hill, and you're all set up. And it turns out the peddler that you met's got a tent, so they're like, yeah, I'm good, I'm sleeping in my tent. Um, and they've got a bedroll, a bedroll and a tent. Um, all the mod cons. Sure. Luxury. Um, yeah. Then you heard moaning, and you saw a body at the top of the hill, just above where you're camping, collapse onto the ground. Some of you went up towards the top of the hill, and at that point, the body lifted itself up in a stumbling motion and then fell backwards and rolled down the hill on its side um, into another bunch of bodies that were all at the bottom of the hill. There, and at that point, Lauren noticed that they didn't seem to really be dead. <laughs> a conversation ensued. <laughs> and they've walked back over the hill back to your campsite, so you've left the bodies on the other side of the hill. No one has watched the bodies, though, right? So they've just been left, and there's been a general discussion about, do we have any oil? To which the peddler said, I don't think I've got any. And then they went, oh, actually, I do. Um, and that's where we're at. <laughs> well, it's just been like seeing the the tent. pulling things out of a hat, <laughs> what the peddler's been doing. That's we're right. We're very entranced by this. <laughs> So they have a tent, they have oil, and they have a flute that they're looking to offload at the moment. Someone want yeah. a tent? Maybe we could cut up the tent and like soak it in oil and we can make some torches with it. Into a set up tent. I, I have a bunch of oil. torches actually. You have a bunch of torches. Oh well, we should use those then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have two okay. torches. And um, I just like a big call out. By the way, Brandon, uh, myself and Joe went off and got COVID tested this week, so just want to say I was thinking of you, buddy. <laughs> oh, you were? Oh, nice. <laughs> and and we the shallow swab or the the go past the eyeball? No, they did the shallow swabs, man. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you have enough expertise to know the difference between the two. That reassures me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> while you're all planning this and getting the oil ready and no one's been watching the door, about five people are now standing at the top of the hill covered in blood and other things. So they're now standing up and they've got armour and swords out. Um, and Well, not uh, and it's not great armour. It's like leather and stuff. Like They look a bit tattered. And they look down the hill at you and you look up the hill at them and they... When, when, you, when they see you, 
<laughs> like, ah! But it's pretty hard to pull off at this point. You're pretty suspicious. Uh, what are you? Uh, I think now would be a good time to uh, shoot them. Shoot them. But before uh... you shoot them, I'm just going to place your characters on the uh, on the board map. On the map. It's just. We're gonna do it theater of the mind, so I'm not gonna. I don't have a. I don't have a combat, like, thing. I think there's enough going on for us to go without. Um, and now I'm just gonna add. Add. I like that. Add. Uh, that meat is just an anonymous. An anonymous blue blip. Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Did I get everyone? Very neutral icon. Yeah. <laughs> uh... No, I didn't get. Oh Wait. no! No, yeah, yeah, you got everyone. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm missing someone. Six. There's six of us there. Yeah, but I don't think the turn order has six. That's what I'm saying. Brandon? Why did oh. You... Uh oh, yeah, it's Brandon. Yeah, there you go. That'll. Oh, that'll... Okay. oh hold on. Yeah, I got to do that for all. Okay, no, I've oh, done it now. Go. All right, so oh, can cool. everyone? Um, I'm just gonna roll initiative. Uh, and I'm gonna. Roll that, and then I'm just gonna go. What to get? What to get? Okay, so Lauren, you got one, uh, seven. I got nine. Roll that ten. Um, six, nine, and. Got a ten. Um, and then I'm gonna go uh, seven. All right. And then I'm gonna. I don't actually have a. I don't have a stat block for these guys. So I'm just gonna drag something on to make the room. Um. Lauren's on it. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that is not what you were fighting, but it'll do. Uh, and I think that was a. Oh, it's a one. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Which is probably not actually overly surprising because actually they sort of know what's going on. All right, Lauren, you see them. They see you. What do you want to do? You see them first. They're standing at the top of the hill. Um, I'm going to grab my staff. They're standing on stone and rock and earth, Lauren. <laughs> Fireball. No. <laughs> no. Um... Do you have willpower? I do have willpower, and I also am thinking that I have got, um, I was just, because I forgot to put my um, self up a level, but I'm going to say that I have spent enough XP to um, be able to cast level two um, okay. spells, and I'm going to cast Stone Storm on them. Right. Okay, so... Because if there are loose how, stones to throw, I'm throwing them. Yep, there are definitely loose stones to throw. So how much... Um, how many willpower points are you burning here? Because um, remember, there's a there's a risk with, with willpower. Yes, I'm just looking this up. So stone storm. Uh, the damage to strength from your attack is equal to the power level, um, and you roll... Uh, and you get armor, right? Yeah. Just damage to strength from your attack is equal to the power level. So, how does what's the power level again? It's um, what you put in willpower. So basically, if you put in two points of willpower, the power level will be two, and you roll two dice. Okay, I'm gonna put in two points of willpower. Okay. Um, and I think. Uh, is equal to short, immediate. Okay, so you, yep. So add an enemy. So you're gonna target one of them with your stones. Mm. Um. Yes, because it's a yeah earthquake is three. Okay, all right. Roll uh two dice skill to and if you get banes, uh tell me. Okay. Um. I oh, really and don't forget, to... don't forget, because you're a half elf, the first point you spend counts as two. So when two, you spend so two, it's actually going to be three. It's going to be three dice. 
Yeah, I'm trying to rem- How do I um, set the dice level again? Do I, I just say three dice pull? Yeah, you just click on yeah. you just click on the skill the three. on the three on the skill so that you get the banes as well yeah. as the thing. Yep. And then just hit roll. Okay, you got no successes, but you also got you can. That's okay. You still do three points of damage to the person. Damage. <laughs> because remember that it you don't need to hit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, all that happens if you get successes is you overcharge and it does more damage. Um. Okay, so you burn two willpower points and you blast one of them with with magic um, stones. Um, and they can roll. I'll just pull up. I'll actually pull up the giant ball because it's actually probably more more, more appropriate. Well, yeah, and it's got th- three points of armor, which is what it needs. So that'll do. Uh, and that is a nil. Oh, got one success. Okay. Um, so he takes two points of damage. Um, and I'm just gonna go one to this. No, what's going on there? Uh-huh. Yep. And he takes two points of damage. You blast him with the with the stone and he's like, oh and and hit with stone and they go, Ooh, there's a spellcaster down there. <laughs> that terrifies <laughs> them a little bit. Um however the other three the other four, sorry, charge down the hill towards you at full pelt, running as hard as they can. Ah, that's pretty much their action for this round. Mm. Um, Alex, what do you want to do? There are there are peddler there are, there are there are people covered in viscera and blood charging you with weapons. Kill the zombies. Um, I have a hand axe. You do. You're you're quite good with the hand axe, as a matter of fact. So do you want it? You're just gonna whack one with your hand axe. I'm just gonna whack one with my hand axe. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. Well, they charge down the hill. You step up to engage one who's reached reached the bottom. Um, so what you do is you you go to your weapon now, not your yep. melee combat. You go to your weapon, and you yep. roll not the parry. So you roll the first dice. Click on the first dice for hand axe, and that should light up your thing. Yes. A T T K. Alex? Okay, so under so weapons. Under weapon, you so have above your skills. Hand. So above skills. Yeah. Then there's two little dice icons. One under A double T K. One under oh, yeah. parry. The one next to hand axe called attack is the one you want. Yep. Yep, that's it. And then roll with API again. Okay. Okay. You hit. Now the hand axe does two points of damage, and you've hit with one success. So, but you've also, yep. Yeah, so you do two points of damage. We'll just keep it simple. Um. Okay. Eh, you got that under control now. Good. Uh, I will roll the armor of the person. Now, are you sh- are you attacking anyone specific? One of are, them. Are you attacking just anyone? Okay, all right. Well, he takes two points of damage because his armor doesn't work. Um, matter of fact, his armor degrades and it doesn't work. It's a bad day for him. Um, and he's standing there with his with your with your axe in his body. Radis. Yeah. What uh, do you do? I'm I'm pulling out my knife and stepping in to stab one. All right. <laughs> are you stabbing either of the two that have already been injured, or are you going for a completely new opponent? Um. Wow. Oh, yeah, two have been injured already. Uh, one of the injured ones. Yep. Okay. We'll just take him down. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is your flick knife, so it does one point of yeah. damage, I think. So yeah. that's two. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll see if I get any armor. Nope, and he's dead. Right, okay. Your opponent yeah. flops to the ground. Yeah. Um, so that's one down. All right. Delilah, what do you do? Uh, 
So the pigs are still with us, right? Nah, you lost the pigs. Aww. They wandered off That's when so they were sad. invisible. Aww. 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 I do, but it doesn't work in combat. Oh, that's sad. It's okay. so frustrating. <laughs> I have nothing combat. I'm, I... <laughs> One of them is mostly injured. They're looking feeble. <laughs> so I've, I've got a sword. I guess I'll swing a sword at someone. <laughs> okay, roll the hit. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's. Roll my two dice. Nothing. Hey, the, the sword's better than that, man. <laughs> okay. <Right>. Uh, Lucas. <laughs> yes. There's four um, opponents left, one injured, three uninjured. I'll shoot the injured one. Okay. Let me get my wand up. Yeah, that's, that's going to hurt. Oh, nice. um, so that's two points of damage. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll roll the armor, and I get no successes. He also collapses to the ground in a bleeding heap. So two of them are broken, and three are still standing. Brandon, there are three opponents. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, uh, are they all pretty much, is everyone pretty much near me? Are they all... Yeah, they're all charged yeah. down the hill, so you can step up and slash, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll uh, slash at one of them. Okay. My axe. Oh, now, one thing to mention is because you've actually got a big axe, you've act it's actually a heavy weapon, I think, um, mm -hmm. which means you can do the swing, which gives it plus one to damage as an action. Oh, I see. Um, do I have to use that with two hands? Uh, actually, no, I don't. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I do. I think it just says if it's a heavy weapon, I can use the. Yeah, it's. I think it's just if it's a heavy weapon. Uh, that would be. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. That's All right. Interesting. Okay, so an additional Carry. point of damage if you hit, which you almost certainly will. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you hit. Okay, and you really don't want to push that. Um, okay, so that's three points of damage, I want to say, Battle Axe. Yeah, so that makes it three points of damage. Uh, so that guy gets to roll his armor. Did he get any successes? He got one! Yay! So he's only taken two. Yay! Um, okay, <laughs> you smash him with your axe, and he goes, Ugh. Okay, it's a new turn. All right, Lauren. They're in hand-to-hand -hand combat with people. Are you smacking one with your staff now? No, oh, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry, I had my thingy turned up um, while I was eating. Mm. Oh, my damn staff. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Right. I'm attacking with it. Smack a zombie. Oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Is, what sort of damage does the staff do again? It's two, isn't it? I think it? it's a D8. No, no, the, it's, it's, two. The, it's two. So that's three mm. points of damage. Are you hitting are, are you hitting a new one or are you hitting one that was already injured by uh, Brandon? I'll hit the one that was injured by Brandon. Okay, he falls Where over. Is that how... Yeah. Yeah. So there's now two of them left. You've beaten up three. Um, the He... Six dice, okay. Um, so... Oh. Actually, it just sees my damage here is one. Oh, it doesn't matter. He only had one point, so mm. it works that way. Okay. Same either way. Um, <laughs> I was looking for the right thing. thing. Uh, so, this guy... Um, will attack Brandon. With his... Okay. With his mace. He gets two successes. Now, Brandon, you could choose to parry... With your shield... Um, okay. you have a shield. Uh, he's, it's a blunt weapon. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna... which means he's doing a slash. It says I have a D8. Yes, because, yeah, it's an artifact. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, you parry. You block the blow with your shield. Um, and then the other one will attack... Who else is in hand-to-hand -hand combat? The Peddler, oh, I am. Lucas... No, the Peddler, Radis, and Delilah. Yeah. So that's, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, probably attacks the most deadly-looking one, which is actually the Peddler, because the Peddler's big. Um, I'm going to roll the block. Ooh. You're gonna oh you're gonna put, you're gonna use your talent. Yeah, I'm using my willpower. Okay. Get so, back behind me, little man. <laughs> steps in the way. Because <laughs> the peddler doesn't have a shield, so yeah, fair enough. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? That I'm rolling against you, not him, not them. Uh, yeah, you roll against uh, me. Okay. Um, well, then roll your second action, which will burn both of your actions for this turn, by the way, um, to block this second blow. Oh, so I get to, to block as a free action. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. right, cool. Okay, well, then by all means, block uh, away. <laughs> With your shield. I just have to spend a uh, willpower point. Now, you get two additional dice to parry with a shield, a slash. I am pretty damned sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. So don't forget that. Uh, hold on. Slash. Oh, no. Parry with shield is neutral. Oh, okay. You get a bonus to dodge, but you'd have to use move skill. Parry. So when you parry, you can immediately spend a willpower not to count the parry against your action in the round, making it... Uh, you can do this several times in a round as long as you have willpower to spend. So I'll yep. do it one more time. Okay, so you you just need to so you just roll your um, skill right. Okay, so I got two successes. So you did you did block some of it. Um, however, uh, I don't think you blocked enough. Um, disarm, parry, 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 parry. Just a bit, I don't know. Uh, if you parry the weapon. Stabs you get a plus two bonus. Eliminates one. Any excess yet? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yes, he does you two points of damage against your armor. Oh, you've got nine dice, don't you? Because you're like armored in chainmail and. So do you want to just yeah. roll your armor? Uh, he he's attacking me. Yeah, he hit you. He got past your okay. shield. Um, right, he did I'll you two points armor. of damage. I roll this armor right here. Oh, that's right. I have to click the roll after I click the. Yep. Yep. You completely absorb it. It has no effect. Oh, uh, best card. Got a lot of best card. That's right. <laughs> best card. <laughs> All right. That was the two of them. Alex, it's your go again. There's two opponents left. Do I still have my hand axe? Did I get it back? Yeah, you didn't throw it. You swacked. You swacked them with it. With it. Whack I wish to swack it again. Okay, swack away. Swack away. So you know how to do that this time, so I'm just... Yes! It is a mighty hit that you have landed upon your opponent. And they take a point of... They take one point of damage unless they roll their armor, in which case they take none. Oh, no, hold on. Hand axe. Does it do... do... Oh. They take two points of damage, actually, from the hand axe, don't they, Alex? Hmm. I'm pretty sure a hand axe is two, not one. Last time it was. Yep. Okay. Ah, they take two points of damage. Okay, that was their move. Radis. Uh, now that Alex has swoke her axe, I shall stab the opponent as well that she's attacking. They're right. Attacking. Go for it. Uh, Roll to hit. I will once I get to the part on the screen that lets me do that. Uh, there we go, and away we go. And no, I don't want to push. Okay. Is that because you rolled? Yeah, wow. Yeah, you don't want to push. Okay, um, okay, you do one point of damage unless their armor works. Which it does. Yeah, their armor finally works. Delilah. Okay, I found something I can actually do. 
Oh, awesome. What are you doing? Ooh, yeah, I'm using my talent. Oh, okay. What talent? Soft tongue talent. Okay. Uh, so when you roll to manipulate someone uh, and roll more successes than you need to win the opposed roll, you can inflict one point of damage to empathy on your opponent per exit. Right, but what, what are you doing? Like, that's... I mean, look... Hey, buddy. Are you look insulting them? Are you, your mocking them? are you mocking them? <laughs> are you mockerying them? Yeah. Okay. Taunting. So you like, look, clearly you guys aren't that tough. Look at what's going on with all your buddies here. Okay, so you're basically trying to convince them to surrender? Yep. Okay. Uh, roll um, a... Well, roll your manipulation. Yes. The nihilists. Okay. Two successes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You do them one point of empathy damage. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have to get one success on their two dice. They laugh at you! Ha 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 ha! Um, however, they've had better days. Um, okay, uh, that's um, Delilah's go. Delilah taunts them from a distance. Lucas? Lucas? Yeah. That's what are you doing? Uh, are any of. Wait. There's two there? left. One of them's injured. Um, one of them is not injured. I'll shoot the injured one. Yeah. Okay. Indeed you will. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I clicked it twice on accident. Um, That's yeah, alright, the first one counts. <laughs> uh, and they got no successes. Uh, arrow. Ah, arrow in the head. <laughs> they flop to the ground. Chad, there's one left. Okay, I'm gonna run at it and just give it a good hard whack. swing. Okay, go for it. Oh yes, you've got you've got one action. Yep, you've got one action. So you can't do the heavy swing. You can just swing at them with the sword, with the axe. Swing at them. Then. Okay. Oh, do you want to push it? Uh, no, I'll uh, I'll just miss it. Okay, you miss. Oh, Lauren, there's one opponent yep. left. They're looking pretty pretty uncertain about smackin'. themselves. Smacking. Okay. I'm smacking it. Smacking them with your staff. Love you, staff. You've been so good to me. That is a hit. Got one success. They will roll a move roll. Um, <laughs> yep, they will. So they'll do that, and then they'll do that, and they don't get that, and they will roll. Right. Okay. They they try to retreat, but they fail. <laughs> Uh, and they will now roll their armor. Uh, yeah, wow, their armor degrades. It's all going well over here in uh, <laughs> Run Away Now, Run Away. Um, so they try and retreat. Now, Chad, that means you get a free attack. And so do you, Lauren, because you're both in hand to hand with them. Yeah. So you can cool. both so roll a hit. No hits. No, this time. Okay. You just get a straight up attack, no no um special modifiers, yeah. just whack them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. They'd already taken one point of damage, they get one point down, you got two successes, they fall to the ground broken. You have defeated the slavers who tried to lure you into their cunning trap with the uh, dead bodies. Please. Didn't work. Oh, so <laughs> cunning. <laughs> hey, you did roll three successes in their defense. Okay. <laughs> um, in case you care, they have money, small amounts Ooh. of money. Um, they have copper pieces. Ooh. Copper. And they have and they have leather armor, but it's covered in blood and pig intestines. I have no money. I have never Let's had money. Take their money. I want their money. <laughs> All right. You take their money, it makes you feel good. You can now buy stuff from the peddler who wants to sell you a tent. <laughs> you got a tent? <laughs> peddler, do you want to sell your tent to these people? They've come into some money recently. Oh, I don't really trust them, though, because I just watched them grab the money from a bunch of dead people. Yeah, it's money for you now. Alright, 
So you so trade Chad money for ten. For... Yes. Has Chad got a name for his axe? He hasn't like named it Vera or anything like that because it's pretty. Oh yeah. Pretty attached. <laughs> What do you want to call it, Oh, Chad? yeah, I should, I should come up with a name. I never thought about that. Uh, name it after my mom. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, name it. I'll name it after... Uh, what's the... What was that The dude that was the robot? What was his name? Joel? Joel Bot? Yeah. yeah, I'll oh. name it... <laughs> I'll name it the... Uh, so, so you name uh, it Joel. I don't know the Joel Bot Smasher or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. Nice. I have to think of a name. <laughs> That's a good point, Radis. I gotta think of a fun name for this thing. It's kind of absolutely kind of fun. I feel like I'm in Lord of the you know that cartoon Lord of the Rings cartoon thing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 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 you know with the. You just need yeah. uni. You just need uni. Yeah, with the roboscope animation. That's right. Oh. And the and the and the and the barbarian kid had a club that was magical. Yeah. Um. <laughs> nice. Okay, you've made camp. You fought off the slavers. Um, is anyone not eating the fox or food? I think I'm one. Not the fox there's only four. Food. There's only four foods, and I know. Delilah's eating the vegetables because they collected the one serving of vegetables. I'm and I know there. that um, Lauren wasn't going to eat the fox carcass. Yeah. Is there any, uh, uh, any reason why we shouldn't eat the fox carcass except to offend um, um, Delilah? No, it's, I mean, it's gamey meat, it's but it's food. fine. Yeah, it's just yeah. food. Yeah. I just yeah. eat it. All right, so Alex, what you do is you roll um, your uh, you roll your consumables. So you click on the little dice symbol next to the consumable, and then you roll it. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to do ten. Yes, you are fine. And now for your water, which should be a D twelve now. Oh, by the way, um, uh, Chad, your your water has gone up to um, 12, a D12. Oh, it went up to 12? Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. Yep, yep. The peddler went and found a now. found water that was safe to drink. Oh, nice. Um, but I've we got didn't have no to roll food lift. We didn't have to roll food if we had that. Yeah. You've run out of food. I have personally run out of food. Now, now. what the way that works is other people can give you food by reducing their dice by one or more. And for each one they give you, you obviously go D6 if it's only one, then D8 if it's two, and so forth and so on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lauren, you can have some of my food. I got... Uh, well, you've run out of food. You've run out of food now. So you've got, like, yeah, you've yeah. eaten the last of your food. I yeah. just ate the last of my food now. That's right, because you had a terrible man. run of eating food, didn't you? I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And also, you couldn't cross, you know, the open terrain without stumbling across a quicksand or a yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah. Right. All right. Fine. Okay, so you're all resting. Who's going to stay? Who's going to keep watch overnight? Uh, not me, because I need to rest. Because I'm down do two it. wits points. I'll do I it. will. I will. I'll keep watch because I'm actually completely healed up. And also, I'm looking for my fox. Right. I'm really, I'm, I'm really worried really about them now. <laughs> okay. So you're staying awake, keeping an eye out for the fox. Yeah. Nice. More uh... an ear out than an eye out, but you know. <laughs> so did we make camp? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, we made we camp. Redis, camp. Redis made the most beautiful camp you've ever seen. Oh, you did? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. All successes uh, on the dice. On the and ride. now you have a tent to oh, sleep in. Yeah. Can Which, I, uh, <laughs> Lucas? Could you, could you, uh, repair my, uh, my armor again? That'd be something you could do. Lucas, buddy. Lucas. Pal? Sorry, yeah. It's got I'll a little. Look at something. It's got a little den in it. <laughs> can you I, fix the armor? Uh, can I fix the armor? Yeah, you've got craft skills, don't you? I do actually. I think yeah. I did. So yes, you can. You can make a crafting roll. 
And for each success, you repair damaged equipment by one point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, one. nice. Sweet. Thank you. No worries. All right. So, you rest. Hoot now. So, uh, can I get a keeping the watch roll, please, from <laughs> Delilah? Yeah. Who, I'm, who I remember has excellent, excellent scout skill. It's gotten better. <laughs> and okay. can't see in the dark. And I can't see in the dark. <laughs> All right, roll. It's gotten better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, 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 that's so much better right there. I'm just hanging around, like, singing the song that I remember the fox singing quietly. Yep. Okay. <laughs> The um, in the night. <laughs> There's a bit of aurora going on. Is that what you're saying? It's yeah. Foxing aurora. Wow, weird. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. In the middle of the night, when no one else is around, you see. You see the um the fox pelt, which has been hung, to <laughs> to dry, sort of lift lift up. Um, off the pole that it was left on to dry and um, sort of flop to the ground and then four little paws, little sort of shadowy, ghostly paws um, and a sort of shadowy body now fill out the, the, the pelt and the pelt looks at you. <laughs> Hi, the old Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free, little fox. Live your life. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? Well, you want, you want some water? They, they, they killed me now. Well. They killed me with a sword. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the fox looks at you for a second and runs off into the darkness. Do you follow the pelt? It looks back at you when you don't follow it. You my I'm going to follow the pelt. pelt. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't steal your pelt. All right. You go out into the darkness. It's alive. Following yeah, the well, pelt. And it's, it's, it's glowing blue body. You find yourself in a clearing. There's another fox in the clearing. This one's on fire. <gasps> Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you. It starts to whistle a little tune and waits for I you. Whistle. I whistle back. Okay. Do you want to make a... Uh, uh, a, what a is it? A, a performance roll. You know what I want to make a performance roll. <laughs> Let's do this. Wow! Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Smashing it. That's that's uh crazy. The crazy. Fox. This Come is to me, my jungle one, friends. This is the one joy I have in the last day, many days. Okay. The you and the song sing a beautiful duet. The song winks at you and raves its paw at the end of the song and disappears off into the darkness. Um, with the pelt following along behind it. <laughs> <sighs> you go a back... lot of foxes. Did the foxes go to foxes? I don't know. <laughs> you, you go back. Do you... Uh, the other people are starting to wake up. Do you, um... Do you rush back so that they don't know that you disappeared? Yes. <laughs> right, okay. Um, you all get up the next morning. The first thing that... <laughs> the first oh. thing that... That Lucas notices. Is the pelt missing, Lucas? <laughs> it's what gone. Did someone steal about? my pelt? No. No one stole your pelt. Lila. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? <laughs> you seem very certain about that, Lila. Despite the fact that my no pelt. No one stole the pelt. The pelt got up and ran away. Pelt ran away? <laughs> Delilah, when we're back at home, do you have some kind of medication that you <laughs> tend to take? I'm just checking my stash in case she's got to it. <laughs> I think you need the wizard quite no. a bit. No, you see the pelt, it got up, and there was like a ghost fox. And, and the ghost fox inside the pelt was like, Bye now, I'm going to go off and to live my, well not live my life, I'm dead, so I'm going to go off into the woods now, bye. And then it ran away, and I oh saw God. my fox again, and we sang a song, and it was really sweet, and to the ghost fox, and them are friends. 
Dara, when we get back, you're writing children's books. <laughs> <laughs> Get... Oh, I should make a great living off this. <laughs> when we get back, I'm going to check you into a hospital. <laughs> Please, you need to see the wizard. Quickly. We need to see the wizard. Yeah, we need Wonderful to see the wizard. Us. When I get back, I think I'm going to check myself into the psych ward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want the really good too. drugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, are you going to stay an extra quarter so that um, Delilah can sleep, or is De are you forging on? I will oh. point out that the, it could be getting further away. What, the, oh. um, the thing we're, we're trying looking to catch for? up a mobile target. Okay. Yes, well, let's let's push on. That's um, uh, yeah. What well, does that make you sleepy? It does. But it's okay because we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful it's wizard. Alright, she's on home. some high about the fox anyway, so. <laughs> it's yeah, it'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> up we go, up we go, -la 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 -la. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw what Rob put on Discord. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, out with the woodland friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you are sleeping, right? So you're resting, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no. We no, you're forging on. on. Okay. We're so forging you've... on. She's going to be sleepy. They've, they've, they've ticked the sleepy condition, correct, Jason? Yeah, I have. Okay. And do we remember what sleepy means? Yep, good. Okay, one of these things. perfect. Do I have, uh, where is it? Um, okay, so you travel on after the first quarter of the day. Can I, I get... these slavers have any carts or anything, do they? Oh. Well, no, they have chains and manacles, though. Uh, okay, uh, not not a not a caged card or anything. Okay. No, 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 quite uns. No, no. Uh, okay. I just I take one damage to my wits every day. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. As you become more and more tired. Yeah. Okay. That I can't recover wits. Yes, that's the other thing I remember. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so can everyone just make sure that you have cleared your stat losses, if you had any, as long as you yep. rested? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, right, so lead the way and uh, keeping watch. So are you sticking with the same keeping watch, lead the way yep. model as before? Yep. All right, lead the way. Lead the way. Ding. Well, there's one. Okay, now keeping the watch. Oh, whoops, oh, I pressed the wrong button, sorry. Oh, nice. Two. Yeah, right. nice, 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 nice. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, you see nothing. You push on. You push mm -hmm. on again. Luckily, yeah. this terrain is flat. Flat like a yeah. place without terrible things. Wow, another success. Yet another <laughs> round of... <laughs> Encounters that you dodge. <laughs> okay, and wow, another success. Oh. You people are on a roll. Uh, but I know. Oh, so ooh. good at this. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, ooh. oh no, that's ooh. going to happen. Sixties are never good. I don't like sixties. Unless it means I get to see my foxy friend, then I'm happy with it. <laughs> I don't know who your foxy friend is. Okay, actually, this like is pretty much. So you're you know, coming you up. You're coming up onto. You're coming up to um, a path that has been carved um, through the ground, right? So you're starting to move into low shrubland. And basically yeah. it looks like um, a truck, for most of you, uh, has just ploughed through the dirt, like a giant four-wheel drive, but it would have to be the size of a, of, a, of a truck, has sort of moved through this space, and there's just this dug-up, riveted land. Um, and all these shrubs have been torn out of the ground or shredded. And directly in front of you, 
is a small group of people begging for food, obviously um, destitute and lost. And actually, they do really look destitute and lost, by the way. I, I realise you've just met some people pretending, but these people do not look like they're pretending. <laughs> Let me be clear about that. Uh, and, and, they're, and they're all huddled together. And as you approach them, you see from the distance, you hear rather from the distance, a giant buzzing noise <coughs> and a giant wasp comes down upon, fl arrows down towards them. What do you do? Oh, yeah. boy. Quick, shoot the wasp. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas, do it. I can shoot it if you want. Do shoot it. it. Shoot it. Okay. Oh, no. God, it's the I can't shoot the wasp <laughs> ever. No. You rolled yeah, your crafting, crafting skill. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's crafting. <laughs> I didn't. Crafting <laughs> arrow. <laughs> Look around, quick! Maybe we can make some rudimentary lanes. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the rudimentary lanes oh, line. Yeah. Thank you for that. That was begging. All right, yes. Thanks. Oh, that's a bit more like it. Okay, yeah. you shoot it with an arrow. Um, the arrow penetrates its hide, or does it? How tough are these things? Pretty damn tough, does I recall? Yeah. Oh no, you're just pissing it off. What? I'm gonna get anaphylactic shock and die. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allergic, <laughs> Chad? I think so. I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna blow up like a balloon, man. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it's arrowing down towards them when suddenly an arrow springs out of its side. It and it turns towards you and arrows in your direction. Uh, did you want to shoot it at all, Radis? With your Absolutely, I do. crossbow. I do, 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 and away we go. Dunk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. That's three points. Uh, and it gets one success. So that was okay. Ouch. Um. <laughs> Okay, it's arrowing, it's arrowing down towards you when another crossbow bolt strikes its hide and realising that this prey is tougher than it looks, it buzzes away from you. Um, you can have one more shot at it, Lucas, uh, with your bow if you want. Sure. Yeah, this time it's personal. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to... Wow, two successes from the, uh, from the artifact guys there. Uh, another two points mm. of damage... Um, it's looking, it's looking sick, but it, it continues to fly away and then it <laughs> zoops, disappears out of range. Unless you want to give chase on your mm. horse, which actually you could do. I can, I've got a horse. And you have, <laughs> and you have horse riding as a, like, as in you're a horse archer. So I you can, can shoot from my mount. It's what yeah. you do. <laughs> mm. It's what I do. <laughs> okay. Roll, roll, buddy. Roll. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Obviously, you had to be in full gallop to really get the benefit of it. Yeah. The, yeah. Mm. It gets Jesus. no. Oh wow! Well, you actually take it out. <laughs> so you you do the whole Mongol archer thing where you do the do the um Asian style uh bow pull. So you've got the bow above your head and you pull it down and it strings out. And yep, you release yep, this yep. arrow, and it smashes into its thorax. And you see the wasp buzzing in the distance, and then and then it collapses towards the ground. And the people go, oh, thank you. Thank you, mighty heroes. And they throw themselves at your feet. Oh, my God. These wasps have been attacking us ever since we tried to follow his eternal progress. All sail. All sail. The eternal progress. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what we're looking for, actually. We're looking for the eternal progress. <gasps> the eternal we... progress. Yeah. See, One but must. We had to. <laughs> we had to get to the major mirrors because he had some memories for us, but we couldn't find him. So then we must find the progress of the eternal servant of the gods. Oh my god! And did it make this big hole? <laughs> <laughs> Carve it out. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Excellent. Do you know where? Do you know where the eternal progress is? You must just follow his footsteps, and they point at these giant, sort of cut-through paths. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, guys, I just need to pause for one second because my computer is actually running very low on power. I've just realised. So, give me uh -oh. one. Give me. Give me literally one minute. I'll be right back. I've just got to go get my power supply. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. yep. Can I just say it was? Hey. You guys got right. a ginger vine. That's pretty sunny, right? Yeah. Uh yeah. As a matter of fact, it's more sunny because it's up higher, so we get um, we have to take more precautions. Actually, uh, yeah. Really. So we've had we've had a very cool summer so far, and it's actually been quite a lot of rain. So yeah, yeah it's true. super yeah, weird. It's been Still very mild. Sunscreen though. Oh, oh yeah, I've had a couple of burns already. Oh my god. Yeah, I've got my. I burnt up my knee and my shoulders, and I did my face a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's so easy to get burnt on those kind of cooler, cloudy days when you just don't even think about it. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. There's still because we have the ozone layer. The hole in the ozone layer still exists, and it's closer to us than anywhere else. Oh, really? And so oh, that's crazy. we get a lot more UV down here than mm. it was even worse when I was growing up in New Zealand. Like the UV levels were insane. Um, oh, wow. So it's really, really easy to get sunburn here, and that's why we have like the highest rate of skin cancer in the world. Oh yeah. wow, that's I didn't know any of that. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So you pro mm. you probably have parts in Australia in the center where you just like die, right? Well, no like there's not. Yeah, oh, well, no not nobody, there. but you have to like you can get up to fifty degrees, and um, wow. there's yeah. Let's be clear: few people what? choose to live there, other no, than indigenous people. people. Yeah, and yeah. and even yeah. they would probably admit that it's getting a little hot out there these days. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> What's fifty-eight degrees in freedom units? Fifty-eight. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 58 degrees yeah. in freedom units. I'm going to remember that. He's being imperial on us. <laughs> uh, it's 136. Oh, wow. That's really hot. Dang. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> freedom so I don't, I don't know if we're going to get any really hot weather this year. We'll have to see. Oh. So usually we'd be going January. We'd be expecting temperatures over 40 degrees. Yeah. Celsius, oh, wow. so that's like a hundred and four or yeah, five, high. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we're going to get there this yeah, year. Yeah, a hundred and four is forty. No, you'll finally get oh, warm wow. in February. We'll see. We'll see. This is our old pen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. So you continue on. Um, oh, yeah. You have found his eternal progress, and importantly. Um, you've found the path. The path. Dun, dun, dun. The path right. that leads there. The path that leads there. So, okay. is this the direction that our rings are pulling us in? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Um, We're going the right way. So, if you don't do anything with the wasp, um, the people who were starving <laughs> gather around it, and you see, you know, people tearing the wasp apart and then starting a little fire to cook wasp. No, just like crazy. Mm. Oh. oh my gosh. It's, That's very it's, 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 it's bigger than a person. Like, so when you're up close, you realise the wasp is bigger than a person because it can actually carry people away. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I wonder if we can, like, collect some poison from it to, like, maybe uh, you could, like, dip it. your arrows oh. in poison. You could collect some poison from it. Um, it definitely has poison. Um, you would need to make a... I think a healer skill roll actually would That's seem most right. logical um, to to sort of collect the poison, um, and then yeah, and then you could yeah, then you could have some poison from the wasp if you wanted. Is that what you want to do? Redis? Do you want poison arrows, poison bolts? I could go for some poison arrows. I think having some poison would be useful. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Pedalite, you have like an empty container. <laughs> Do it, let's milk this bee. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, How do you, you do that? How are we going to get the poison out? Do you just do you pull out the little stinger thingy? Yeah. Yes, so. Hey, hey just, just checking in. So, Alex, are you going to take a little break, are you? Okay. All right. 
Thank you for playing, Alex. Do you want to? Is it? Yeah, thanks for playing. I'll just I'll just check in. Is it? Is it? Do you not? Are you a bit stressed out about the wasps? Okay. They they do feature heavily in the next section. <laughs> yeah, maybe take a break then. Yeah, that would no. Be <laughs> yeah. Okay. But but um, we won't be meeting a wasp for a little while if you want to stick around and see out the rest of this before we get to the wasp bit again. I'll give you a heads up yeah. when we get to the wasp. Okay. Is that all right? Do you want to do it or what do you want to do? I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Bye, all right, kiddo. It was nice playing uh, with you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I was gonna ask if the ped had like an empty glass jar that we could. Some poison into. Well, you have an oil flask. <laughs> you yeah. have an oil flask. Yeah, let's oh, that. Yeah. Um, okay, who's got healing skills who can do the collecting? Um, Brandon. Uh, uh, Chad's got healing. I, got, I, I can, I can heal it. Man, this, this thing is freaking me yeah. out. And I can help you out with it as well. Alright. Because I'm also trained in healing. All right. All right, let's do this together. So uh, you can give a bonus dice to um, Chad. So Chad can yeah. get an extra dice. Plus so Chad, one. just increase your skill by one. So when you click Monkey on the thing, watch. just... Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I'm out of gear. Nice. All right. Yes, you're able to collect some poison from the wasp. Uh, now, let me just check what type of poison the wasp carries. I think it's paralyzing. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. I mean, that's what was okay, doing. you have one. You have you have one dose of a potency seven paralyzing poison, which you can put on a weapon. All right. Uh, who, here you go, uh, Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You can shoot something with it, and then it'll be stopped in its tracks. No. Paralyzed. It's got paralyzing poison. Yep. So potency seven paralyzing poison, one dose. Mm. Oh, two doses actually. You got two successes, so two doses. Oh, nice. Where's the hey, Joel's a robot? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Where's we the townspeople at? Um, well, well they're eating the wasp. Roasting. They're eating the wasp. They're roast... <laughs> They're they're eating one of its six legs right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Kill them. Kill them. them. I want to go. I want to go up to one of them and be like, "Hey, like, there's this." Where did this thing come from? Is there like more of these these things? It's like the size of a horse. Yes. Terrifying. This is why we have not been able to get close to the um to his eternal progress. The wasps have taken up living on his eternal progress. You must first get past the wasps. Um, but there are other creatures also following his eternal progress that the wasps do not bother. Um They're worse okay. than the wasps? Well not oh worse, God. just immune. <laughs> Right, so what else is Maybe following the fox. this? Are there any foxes following him? Okay, make a um uh make an insight roll. Okay. Let's see. What all of us? Uh no, I want one person to roll and he, you can get help from other people. So pick your winner. Okay. Uh, I have seven I've got... insight. I have seven as well. Um but okay, I'll help you, Delilah. Cool. That's four. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. And so, yep. One okay. success. <laughs> okay, uh, you can ask. So, um, all right, yep, yep, yep. So they will, okay, so, yes, there is, um, there are these weird, uh, da, 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 let's see, yep, yeah, okay. Um, there are these um, weird one-legged beasts from beyond the realms um, who follow uh, who follow along behind it. Um, we have never been able to talk to them for their words make no sense. They speak they speak in a in in a in an inhuman tongue, um, but they are okay. one-legged and many-beaked. Okay. Beaked. Beaked. Like bird beaks? Bird uh, like they have many beaks. Okay. 
but are there any foxes? We have never like, s maybe, no. Maybe we're not one that's on fire. We speak weirdly of of, of many odd things. No. <laughs> maybe he's following us. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there anything else that you can tell us? about this eternal progress and what we should expect when we find it. It is a mighty thing, the, his eternal progress. He is the mightiest of us all. He has been forever. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that's very helpful. Um... Do you, like, do you know anything else? Anything at all? Maybe no, but when we tried to get close, we were attacked by giant wasps <laughs> that tried to eat us, which okay. did indeed make it hard for us to approach them. We do not know why. Yeah. Perhaps next time we will, we will, we will get closer. <gasps> perhaps you will be able to bring down, um, perhaps you will be able to bring down the creature. The creatures that stop us from approaching his eternal progress and we can once again how, worship how him. How many wasps are we talking about here? Oh, there are many wasps. In Toto. Like, <laughs> like three wasps, seven wasps. Oh, we have only seen but a small number, but they are terrifying for they are the size of a dog or of a, of a horse, as your friend said. He says while he's snacking right. down on one. Snacking down. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Maybe we should move on and leave mm. them with their Kentucky Fried Chitin. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps yeah. you should. Okay, uh, okay, thank you very much for your help. You, it's been, it's really been very helpful. Ah, uh, it is, it is fine. Thank you so much for mm. um, for for bringing them, for bringing this one down, for stopping <laughs> it from taking one of us. Taking, they take people. Yes. Like, like they pick people up and carry them away. Yes. We've got to breed some. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Duh. Wasps I hope they're not like one of those hosts. parasitic wasps. But like, <laughs> the worst kind. Have you see any bees you, around? You, you see a bees. you see a little bit you see a little bit of movement under their skin. <laughs> 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 Wrong game, that's tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's tonight. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Well put, yeah. well put. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen any bees around? Maybe like a colony of giant bees? You could like match the wasps in size that could circle around them and cook them alive in their little bee mm. bubble. Yeah. They look at you confused. No, we have not heard of these giant <laughs> bees. Are there giant bees to be afraid of? <laughs> No, I just wanted to know, because maybe, because, like, the giant, the bees, they, they cook the wasps and they kill them, and then you don't have to worry about wasps. But I, I, it's fine, we can just, we can just go and... Shoot them! We'll just shoot them! The wasps? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you ride on. Into the, well, you stride on slash ride on. Oh no, we and... do, we do all have horses, remember? We found... Oh, we that's right, because you... Horses, um... Those That's... rust guys. The rust. Yeah. The, yes. The rust guys. Oh yeah, they were funny. Oh, they were. Yeah. Okay, so Hi, the maps. The map's a bit longer than you'll be able to see, so you'll have to shrink it down. Sorry about that. Just make it small so you can see the whole map. Out. Yep. Hmm. But you should be able to see. You're approaching the back of the uh, of the eternal progress, so okay. you've got that's interesting. You've got these forested areas on each side, and then you've yeah, got the path. Mm. You got the massive tracks, and then right mm. up the front, you've got the the giant tortoise, which is his et which is his eternal progress. <laughs> it's a oh giant my tortoise. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Moving along. Wow. Oh, let's head there. I see. Yep. Right. 
Oh, and gathered behind it. A giant tortoise it. with a wasp nest. Sort of yes, it's a giant tortoise with a wasp nest. Um, now gathered behind it in weird little clumped groups are very odd things. <laughs> so can I get a scouting roll from one of you, please? Uh, once again, the best scouting roll. So I assume that's still that's Delilah. Still... No, Lauren. Uh, sorry, Lauren. 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 Yeah. Okay, yep. So in the distance, as you're closing in, you see many odd things. Um, the first odd thing you see, uh, let me get that up. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, you see um, a crowd of, of, at the very back of the group, you see weird one-footed almost like um uh, macropods um so like uh you know mollusks and other things um hopping along these giant fat featherless bird-like shapes with a single with a single foot underneath them and a fat feathered featherless um sort of flat tail at their backs um and they're dra and some of them have got rope um, strung around their necks and they're hopping along um, and they're pulling this giant cart and in the middle of this cart is this device made of shiny steel and metal and other things but also covered in in red leathery scales um, off to one side of that group as they move you know along the ground you see a um, three giant lobster-like creatures um, almost unbelievably large um, in all seriousness um, as big if not bigger than the um, no they're not as bigger than the tortoise but they're definitely the size of a very large horse but they're armored and they have um, clacking legs and and giant mandibles and claws as they move across the open terrain um in another group mm -hmm. you see you see um skeletons uh much like the zombies you saw earlier but now without flesh um traveling along in a group um and there's something floating amongst them but you can't see from where you're standing what that is and then you see then you also see um, uh, other humanoid forms um, carrying equipment in little clumps and groups all scattered around. Um, and above them all, you can see uh, this giant uh, tortoise, um, you know, sort of, sort of across the top of them all. Hmm. Right. Oh, my God. I want to. I want to meet the tortoise. It's just thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what? What the? The evil loving fuck is this? <laughs> Maybe I can sing to the tortoise like I sang to the fox, and we'll be friends. It's a living thing. It's just one <laughs> giant thing. <laughs> the tortoise, yes, it's a living thing. It's <laughs> like that. Um, <laughs> those Discworld books. Yeah. Yeah. They're being written by now, I think. They have. Yes. I yeah. met Terry okay. Pratchett. I actually met Terry Pratchett around this time. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah. Because he used to come to the Canberra convention. Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. Okay. Mm. So. <sighs> what in the hell are we supposed to do? I'm... Scanning the skies looking for these wasps, though. Like, where yep. are they? Okay. Um, yeah, so you can hear the buzzing of the wasps. And in the very far, di like, hovering above the shell, you now realise that you can see um, wasps digging their way out of the shell and flying up and out. Right. Well, that cannot be comfortable for the tortoise. How oh many are we seeing? Um, it's not, it's not hundreds. <laughs> oh yay! 
Yay. That's not a reassuring, like. That's awful. Like once again, are we talking three? Are we talking seven? <laughs> are we talking fifty? Like. <laughs> so it's 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 more like it's it's probably feels like it's about. Well, I mean, how many wasps? How you know whether a particular wasp um, has come in and out more than once is hard. So, um, but yeah. there's probably you, make a um, actually make a survival check. A survival me. check. Yeah, and only one person again, but you can help. I'll so, help. Yeah, I'll help. Alrighty. Uh, so that's plus, plus two on the helping. Yep. Ding! Absolutely. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's a that's <laughs> a critical this. success. No worries. Okay. Um, there's about ten wasps. You think, give or take, living in and on the tortoise. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing they're immune to their own poison. Mm. Hmm. Well, this the ground's been really churned up around here. Are there like lots of loose stones and things around? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes a horrible mess of the ground. Cool. Um. Like that well, clear space in between the two paths is not actually clear. It's actually just broken stumps and. And, and shredded shrubs and other things because it just yeah. plows along the ground, um, destroying yeah. everything in its path. All right. Well, when we have to deal with the wasps, I'm doing my stone storm again. Okay. Yep. Uh, that was really good. I, I don't really have much to offer. I'm not going to lie. Well, but there are lots of things to talk to. I'll just That's point true. out. That's true. Other than the wasps, there are lots of things to talk to. Well, and they're between you and the wasps. Mm -hmm. We should talk to the weird thingies. I want to talk to the weird thingies. That All are right. Popping. I think they look funky. I hope they talk back and not <laughs> attack us. Me too. <laughs> Okay, so you approach the uh, weird hopping creatures dragging the giant cart behind them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hi! Uh, hi there. Uh, can you talk? Um, okay, so make a manipulation roll. Oh, actually, is it manipulation that I want? Uh, I think so. I was just thinking, there's no such thing as, like, persuasion. There's no... No, it's just... It's no. just manipulation. manipulation. yes. Yep. So, <laughs> in which case, it's manipulation. You could make a... Yeah, make a manipulation roll. Okay. Oh, what? What just happened? I thought I was... Oh, I see. Custom roll. Woo! Sorry, I accidentally... You didn't actually <laughs> hit anything, did you? There we go. Enough. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Wow. Wow, you've got five and five. Yep, I'm really okay. good at this. It's my skill. Okay. Um right. Well that's that's done it then. Um, okay. Uh right. Well they were gonna attack you, but now they're not. Um Uh Okay. So yeah, there's a couple of them and one of them you go up and say, you know, start to yell at them really to get their attention. Um one of them turns to you and starts to move toward you rapidly, but then you start talking to it and it listens and it listens and it listens and it goes, it seems confused. Uh, and the others are pulling further away and so it's less likely to attack. Um, hello, hello, hello. Are you mimic birds? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It sounds like an eco. All three of its beaks are moving at the same, uh, slightly different speeds. Oh, hello! It's so nice to meet you. Uh, is this so? We're we're looking for uh, his eternal progress. Is that what this turtle is? Yes, yes, yes. Are you also following him for a reason? Yes, yes, yes. Does it have something to do with that 
that that red scaly thing? Yes, yes, yes. What is the red scaly thing? Machine, machine, machine. Machine. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Uh Okay. Uh do you think you could do you think it would be alright if we walked with you? No, 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 no. 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 No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um could we walk past you? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that. Uh we're just we want to talk to him. We're a bit worried about the wasps. Do the wasps attack you? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Oh. What do you do then? Eat them, eat them, eat them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. Are they tasty? No, 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 no. Oh. That's a shame. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. Are our rings pulling towards the Eternal Progress doll? Yes. Yeah, okay. Not the machine. Not no. the machine. Yeah, okay. What does your machine do? Shakes the earth, 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 earth. Shakes the earth. That's so cool. It's like an earthquake machine. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. That's Very so cool. I don't know if Questacon exists or if the earthquake room exists yet, but that's immediately what's in my brain. <laughs> Questacon exists. Awesome. Yeah. But I think when it's the traveling Questacon. I don't think they've built the building yet, but I'd oh, have to double check. That's sad. No earthquake room. No. <laughs> but they did... Actually, no. It must have been built by then, because I remember Justin Blocky talking to me about someone being put in the Van de Graaff generator and having it turned on on them. Oh yeah, and I oh. knew, Ooh. and I knew him when I was twenty, so nineteen ninety. Um, mm. did they survive? Yeah, yeah, okay. they did. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a protest <laughs> against the t-shirt they chose to wear at work. I'm not going to get into the details. It's um, a very big room and the graph generators in by comparison. So yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Have yes. they ever used it? No, no, no. Not working, working, working. Oh, it's oh. broken. Mm, not finished, finished, finished. Oh. Not finished. Did you build it? Yes, yes, yes. Well that's so cool. We did, did, did. That's so awesome. Hmm. What do they need to finish it? More scales, 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 scales. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen anything else with scales like that. Except for maybe some small lizards. He's eternal progress, progress, progress. <laughs> he has the scales. Yes, yes, yes. That's why we are here, here, here. Oh, you're trying to get scales from him. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. When we say mm. from him... Are we saying from his person or from his cupboard on the side of the room? <laughs> he, he sheds sheds them down on uh, the ground, uh, ground, ground. So they are ready uh, for us, us to use, use, use. Nice, right. nice, nice. Yes, so yes, yes, is yes, the yes. scales coming off the turtle? Yes, 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 yes. So the turtle is the eternal progress. Yes, yes, yes. I keep on pointing to it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm going to tell you this only to um, everybody. I'm like, do you think we should just try and like skirt around him and then get in front of him to try to talk to him? Yes, yes, yes. I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just check what we had to get from him. Ideally, the one who rests within him. We're looking for someone inside the, the turtle. Okay, so maybe we could. That's what my notes. Well, that's what I'm interpreting from the, uh, the poem that I wrote down. 
Because apparently we are meant to find the progress yeah. of the eternal servant of the gods and the one who rests within him. Mm hmm Oh. People live inside the turtle. Uh, we know wasps live inside the turtle, it seems. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. So, okay. what kind of terrain are we heading towards with this turtle? If we look in the distance, uh, it's more. Um, it's getting more forested. You're heading into a forest. Okay. Because remember, you've been moving across open plain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does he ever stop moving? No, no, no. Right. Okay, so his progress is eternal? So he yes. progresses yes, yes. eternally. Yes, okay. yes, yes. That makes sense. Mm, it does, does, does. Does, does, does. Hmm. I think we're losing Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a little tired. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm here. I'm listening. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was slowly yeah losing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> You've been working too hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I guess we should probably try and get past these these cuckoo birds, right? Do they attack us if we try and get close to the? No, they the said turtle? it's okay if we go past. What do you guys them? think? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking okay, that, like, maybe it. we should, like, skirt all the way around the turtle and, like, far enough away that the wasps won't attack us. I don't know. And then, Have like, the come around in ever front. Have attack you? No. No, no. No. No, no. Are they friendly? No. Don't care. 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 Do you know what the thing what? is that's with them? The floaty thing? Mm. It actually... You can make an insight roll. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Maybe, maybe Lucas could run ahead with his horse and check out... Yes, Lucas could try uh, and circle it. Ooh, okay. three successes. Yeah. Okay, it's really, really alien, yeah? So this was hard, but you actually got two successes. Um... It's a, when you ask that question, it actually looks afraid. Is the thing with it scary? Well, you don't know that. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, you do know that. Sorry, yeah, that's your. No, role. I do know that. That's yeah. That's sorry, me. <laughs> I thought that was Lauren. Um. Uh, yes. Very scary. 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 Should we avoid that? If we want to live, it's very scary, very scary, very scary. Okay, thank you for the help. Happy to help, help, help. Perhaps if you find scales, 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 we'll scales. be sure to give them to you so you can finish your machine and bring down the world, world, world. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, yes, yes. That sounds like a lot of fun. I wish you good luck with that. We'll be sure to give you any scales we find. Bye. It waves at you with its <laughs> flappy wings. <laughs> Okay, do we want to um do we want to do we want to stop there because Brandon is feeling pretty tired and I'm yeah. conscious yeah. and I think actually Brandon yeah. you don't you have a don't you have another flight in like twenty minutes or something like that? Oh yeah, let me check. My... Oh, oh we got tired too. <laughs> Afternoon nap. Poor old thing. I know. I need my nana nap. <laughs> uh, let's see. 